Caden Davis to get the night started, kicking away A.J. Green back to return for the Hogs. He will let it sail deep into the end zone, and that will bring out K.J. Jefferson. Field with K.J. Play action to start the game. Jefferson able to get it complete for a gain of nine at Jaden Hazelwood. Antonio Johnson with the tackle for the Aggies. Guard once they get that first first down. Sanders will go ahead for a gain of two and a half yards. As Chris Russell made the tackle, Damani Richardson tried to strip it away at the end. It's a first down for Arkansas. It's a Texas A&M defense that has been excellent throughout the first part of this season. The offense has had their growing pains, but the defense has been playing at a high level all year. This is Jefferson keeping it and getting it close to the 40-yard line. He's a big body at 6'3", 242 pounds. Tackled by Russell. Went for five yards on that run. Third down, five. Empty look for the Hogs. Three-man rush, and it's incomplete. He was trying to go over the middle to Jackson. Fine. Six foot five freshman punter Max Fletcher is going to reverse rotation this as it checks up, but not a long punt at all as it is downed at the 34 yard line. Gives to A chain. A chain out to the 40. Well, Greg, Max John. Second and five, flag comes down. Johnson with plenty of time comes across the field, but well beyond A chain. Illegal shift, offense, two players moving at the same time, and the lower shift in five seconds. On your ability, okay, second down. Field with A chain, second and ten. A chain with Smith as the lead blocker and somehow. Able to slither his way just short to the 40 yard line. Chick fil A impact players look of the night. Johnson. Pressure and it gets to him and it's Drew Sanders again. Came in with five and a half sacks and it was tied for the national lead and he's able to get to Max Johnson. And this is a great job just coming off the left hand side. One on one working against Zoom, the left tackle goes long arm with the left arm and he drops him for a big fourth, third down stop. Constantino with a knuckler downfield and Stevens is going to let it bounce and it does so just inside the 30 yard line. First drive was just four plays, 15 yards, minute 25, and a punt. And as Sanders, tough running, churning the legs out to the 37 yard line. Second four. And that'll make for a third and one as Sanders gets it to the 40. Third down and one. We go with a short inside handoff, stacked up, but an extra push. And that surge will move the chains. Antonio Johnson was the first to meet Lee at Arkansas to a run first style of attack. First down, KJ Jefferson to pass. And now he's going to tuck run and get a chunk play out of it and he is so effective when he gets those big wheels going down to the 32 yard line finally run down by Edrin Cooper 26 yard run by Jefferson big play for the Razorbacks and now they go with the receiver screen this is Jackson Jackson inside the 10 and touchdown hogs 32 yards Touchdown, Jackson. Thank you very much, Dave. And we got a whole lot of woo pig early on here at AT&T moments ago. Keytron Jackson came up with the win against Miami. Playing game, offense. His first drive was just three plays, negative three yards, and a punt. Here's a chain, and he is gobbled up and tackled for a loss. In the backfield was Miles Slusher, and they're happy to have him back. 
Just a great job by Slusher here. Gets blocked, fights through the contact. You're going to see him just coming right off the edge. Tries to get hit by the inside, tries to get hit by the outside. As a result, neither guy could get a piece of him. And Slusher drops. Tackle, big tight end. Second and 19. Johnson has time, looks to check down at the 20-yard line, and able to get it to A-chain. So it'll be third down from there. Transfer, who was able to get to Max Johnson on the first drive. Third down and 12. Four-man rush. Johnson, Sanders tracking him again. Johnson gets free. Gonna tuck, run, die for the line of game. Let's see where they mark him. And he will be just short. It's by Slusher on that drive. Second three and out for the Aggies. Constantino punts away, skies it, and is fielded with a fair catch at the 21-yard line with K.J. Jefferson. Remember last year in this game, he had a sensational touchdown. He's going to lead block here for K.J. And this is exactly what Jefferson can do. And on that scoring drive, Greg, to your point, they had four straight quarterback run. That second drive, mostly man. So it'll be interesting to see what they end up doing moving forward. Here's Green. As Green goes ahead and moves the chains on second and four. Good play calling and balance from Kendall Bryles early on. There is the play caller. DJ Durkins, the defensive coordinator for Texas A&M. They met up a year ago when Durkin was at Ole Miss. Kendall put 51 points in that matchup. Here's Green again as he goes for nine yards. Mentioned last year he had a sensational 48-yard touchdown catch. Wheeling out of the backfield, made four Aggies miss. Had a great spin move. One of the plays of the game in that Arkansas win. Second and one. And he's getting good work here. A couple yards and another first down. And if you look at Arkansas. Jefferson, look at the time he has. But good coverage downfield as he tried to line it to Warren Thompson. It goes incomplete. And great confidence. Tackled for a loss. Green is taken down. Great play by Chris Russell. It's just a great play here by Russell. You're going to see him. He's just unblocked, and he makes the play. Trying to read him a little bit. He kind of turns quickly. Should have been a poor read there from K.J. Jefferson, but an excellent job by Russell dropping the back. Third down and 14. Jefferson going deep, wide open, and waiting for it and diving into the end zone is Warren Thompson. Oh, my, call those hogs. It's basically designed saying, hey, you cannot throw it over our head. But you're going to see this guy come and grab the safety, the piece of cake over the top. Really nicely done as it takes a half second to develop. And a little late to identify. But a nice throw by K.J. Jefferson. And this place, Jerry Jones is out there greeting Hogs fans earlier tonight. Let's go to the studio to Matt. Steph, aren't they? Yeah, it's been fun to watch that group. Bad snap, Max Johnson able to secure it. And salvages it before he's taken down by Bumper Pool. Katie. Well, guys, after the App State. Former LSU starting quarterback transfers to AM, his second start with the Aggies. Second and 10, gets it out quickly and gets it complete to his tight end, Green. As Green tries to power his way closer to the Lions again. I ceiling. I formation with Johnson as the tailback on third and two. Play action off of it as he's able to get it to crown over. A flag is down. We will check on that. Tackle by Slusher. So they go I formation and they leak out the fullback, number 24, Ernest Crownover. Illegal shift. Offense. Third penalty on the Aggies tonight with third and seven. Pressure right up the middle against Johnson. Gets it free, but it's incomplete as it was low intended for Evan Stewart. Bumper pool was coming in on Max Johnson. Constantino on to punt again. They haven't seen a first down yet. 
Stevens calls for the fair catch. And Dredd, oh, and he muffs it! He muffs it! And it appears that Arkansas was able to jump on it. Big touchdown passes to start this game. And keep it on the ground with Sanders, and he is stacked up. That DJ Durkin defense for AM. They came in. Second and nine. He has time again and tried to connect on the in cut to Thompson, who had the 56 yard touchdown catch moments ago. But it'll be third and nine, so an opportunity for already has three rushes for 36 yards. Third down and nine. Jefferson. That goes nowhere. Well defensed by AM. Arkansas's first three and out of the night. Fletcher to punt away. And it is a knuckler that's going towards the sideline. Got the fair catch by Smith at the 33 yard line. Give yourself a chance. Johnson pulls it. And it's incomplete. Again, he was trying to get it to Stewart, the true freshman who is one of the four true freshmen in the backfield here on second and ten. A-chain. Little wiggle his way out to the 38-yard line. Third down and six. Can they find a first down? Incomplete. He was trying to get it to Anaya Smith. And that was Slusher. Constantino to punt again. Stevens, remember? In trouble fielding it last time. Fair catch secures it right around the 15 yard line. A long road of recovery after a knee injury in last year's bowl game. KJ Jefferson able to get to the edge and scoot out at the 20 yard line. Green. Second and five. Take the reverse. Johnson can't find much. Good swarming up front, including Fadil Diggs, the defensive end with the tackle. Oh. And find some open grass. That ball nearly intercepted. Chris Russell had a shot at it. He's intercepted, but it's way off the mark. You see, he's trying to hit Trey Knox, and he throws it probably three yards inside. But if he throws it, Johnson, well blocked, and a first down for the Hogs. Great job here as you see the pressure coming from the field. No one's there on the backside. Johnson gets north and south. Here he goes again, crossing midfield. How about the left tackle on that last play? Luke Jones, like trying to He's find like, work. Who should I block? Downfield. Where can I find somebody? <laughs> Don't block the running back. That's the only thing you that's the only rule. It's just There's a really good loop. job running away from the overload. 6'6, 327 pounder from Little Rock. Second and two, and now this is exactly what the Hogs do best, Greg. Yeah, and the plus side of the 50. Johnson just went for seven, another first down for Arkansas. That was batted at the line of scrimmage. That was Damani Richardson getting his hands up. Back, return motion, and then they go the opposite way on a counter, a little push pass to Hornsby. And Hornsby is tracked down, pursuing down the line. Remember, Hornsby, the backup quarterback who came in last year against AM for a then injured KJ Jefferson and led the Hogs on their final scoring drive to put them up by 10 points in this rivalry game. He's the fastest player on the field, so they're going to find a way to utilize his speed. Third down and 11. Reverse is bobbled by Hornsby, and AM was all over it. And now Max Fletcher is going to try to pin him. Checks up inside the five and down at around the seven yard line. So a good job from the true freshman punter Max Fletcher. The DJ Durkin saying, Atta boy, that's how we play defense. Her worst Aggie starting field position from their own seven. A chain trying to change that, and he can quickly. Watch out! Mega chunk play out of trouble just like that. 63 yards, AJ. And it's just a great job. You're going to see a block out on the end. But you're going to see the defenders get squeezed inside. A is out the gate. Just a thing of beauty. Terrible job there by Arkansas. Two defenders in one gap. And A is house call. 
told you a little while ago, man, every time he gets the football, you just hold your breath. He's got so much speed showing it off right there. What a huge play for the Aggies giving them life. That's their first first down of the game. It comes on a 63-yard run. Back to business with him. And this time he is cut down at the 25. But boy, did they need that. Starting with their own set. Edge of the mistake. Second and five. A chain patient. And it pays off. And look at the tough running after contact. Finally dragged down by Drew Sanders. But Devon A chain is just making a decision right now that he wants to change things. Johnson quarterback run now. As he makes his way inside the 11-yard line, tackled by Bumper Pool. Only a couple yards this time as he was backed up. He's sleepy. Now all of a sudden wide awake. Can they cash in right here? Here comes the pressure right up the middle from Arkansas. Showing that A-gap pressure. Will they back off or bring it on Max Johnson? Empty look, no running back to help. Johnson's got to get it out quick, walks it to the end zone, and it's a touchdown! Evan Stewart, the freshman! Boy, did they need that! Delivered! Gig him! Chains started it. Had the big run. Offensive line responded. Max Johnson on a big third down. Here AM leads seven to four. Coming together moment is presented. And now Sanders takes his turn. And a nice run for 12 yards, Rocket Sanders. You know, guys, Anaya Smith spoke with Evan Stewart and Chris Marshall following their suspension, and he said this, you may be freshmen, but it's time to grow up. Everyone on this team needs you to be playmakers. Being selfish is no longer an option. He responded well. That's good leadership. Responded well right there. And boy, did that AM offense respond well. Their first four drives, four punts, didn't have a first down. Then that drive on third downs, they were three for three. 97-yard touchdown drive really nicely done too and you saw the speed and the talent that's on this roster it's just the execution has been lacking but if it can all come together there's plenty of opportunity to score points over the backfield on second and eight Jefferson's going to keep it himself and just with that size he goes up against Damani Richardson I mean Richardson's not a small safety 6 1 2 10 but Jefferson goes forward at 242 pounds and gets those three extra yards six yard run for KJ it's tough to make comparisons to all time greats but he just moves the way he moves I'm not saying he's not saying this all right but he moves like Cam Newton the way he finishes runs and he always falls forward he's just a powerful guy that really is an effortless mover with how he carries the football they're down in two now quarterback runs straight ahead and that's exactly what you're talking about that power that a lot of pre-snap window dressing here as they give to Sanders and Sanders is wrapped up as that was Chris Russell with the tackle of Rocket Sanders a few but are starting to settle in a little bit on the defensive side Sanders on second and seven Crosses midfield. The third and a long three there. Turner with the tackle. Third and three. And as he gets it out to his tight end, Bax, who's gobbled up at the line of scrimmage. Good pursuit down the line. Antonio Johnson was there. Jalen Jones was there. Up with diamond bunch formation. Bottom of your screen with Sanders at the back of it. Jefferson. Quarterback draw shakes free and is going to have plenty of it inside the 40-yard line. Drawing all that attention to the bottom of your screen, and K.J. Jefferson does it himself for eight yards. Yeah, this is really nice. You're going to see just three defenders on that side of the center with three guys to block right outside. And a really nice job by Jefferson breaking a tackle. And picking up the first down. Good design there by Kendall Bryles. Anthony Lucas, the true freshman defensive end, was left on an island. Couldn't get Jefferson. 
Wide open and complete to Hazelwood to the 22 yard line. Arkansas on the go. Sanders bounces off a would be tackler. Gets to the outside and is ridden down to the 15 yard line by Gilbert. And a scrimmage. Longest drive of the game for Arkansas. This their 11th play. Inside screen. Hazelwood's free. Cuts inside the five. And it is going to be first and goal. Hogs. Kendall Bryles. Well managed drive of play calling here. Quick to the line is Jefferson. First and goal. KJ's going to run it again. Diving. Fumbles the ball. Fumbles the ball. And Chappelle's got it. Tyreek Chappelle in the right spot as he hands it off to Richardson. Here he goes. Wow. Can you believe this? What a turn. Touchdown in the most unexpected way possible. Fumble. Handoff. Scoop and score. Gig him again. In the most outrageous way to potentially tie up this game, you just saw it. Chappelle recovers it, gives it to Damani Richardson, who says, I'm going to track meet this thing wire to wire. Fire drill, not going to work out. But the Aggies close to one. Amazing job of finding it, as you can see him starting to extend there. It looks like Russell, number 24, is the first one to get a hand on it. But this is such a heads-up play. I mean, right here, he's totally bottled up. But Richardson said, give it to me. And he does. They hand it off quickly. It's obviously backwards. It's a thing of beauty. Just an unbelievable turn of events. And a great play by the Aggie defense. That is just heads-up football. That is wanting it. The first turnover of the game goes for an 82-yard return score by Damani Richardson. And give... <laughs> Matt Barry, Coach Riley saying, that's it. Heads up ball, let's go. First down. A.J. Green now taken down by Diggs. Remember, Fadil Diggs was Arkansas going in to score. Next thing you know, it's an Aggies touchdown. Jefferson, he's been running well tonight. He's good. Back from that long recovery off the knee injury. Third and five, just a three-man rush, and yet they're able to hurry him. And now get after him and bring him down. Chris Russell had the force fumble moments ago, and now the sack on third down for the Aggies. And these eyes are in the backfield all the time. They know what K.J. Jefferson's capable of. Look at Russell, 24. Just keeping an eye on him. Do not let him get outside. And then close. Just a great job there. To return. And there's a sky punt that Smith is going to call for the fair catch. And he'll secure it at the 31-yard line. Drive started. Got to be positive here on first and 10. Number six can help that. Play action on first down. Johnson. Just going to get it to A-Chain. And quickly, he gets out at the 36-yard line. Johnson. Complete pass midfield to Stewart again. He had the 10-yard touchdown earlier. Flag is down. Back at the 37-yard line. Jimbo says, what's that about? Foul. They walk all the way. It's offense number seven. Of an Arkansas defender, as you can see right here. Yeah, I think that's probably a good call. It looked a little bit more from a distance, like he was out of control. But there, he looks like he's a little bit more under control. It does look like he's going low. I do think that's the correct call. And with that, they're marking this back 
as a second down. Johnson's going to run it himself. He's going to have the line to gain as he slides down. And they will mark him at the 44-yard line. He's going to try to start sneaking the field goal range. Johnson just going to hook it up underneath to A chain. Remember, no timeout punt moments ago. Flag is down. They're going to get Moose Muhammad here with the legal movement. Hit. Part of the snap. Ball start. Offense. Not all 11 players are set for full second. Five yard penalty. Play second down. Would have been so nice to have because that timeout in the pocket. Mark to stop with less than a minute to play in the second period. There will be a 10 second subtraction from the game clock. Four man rush against Johnson. Going to go downfield. Well covered. And is there going to be a flag? Yes. As Smith got run into by Miles Slusher. A little bit of a prayer there, but you could see it looked like Johnson kind of put his right leg out a little bit. I think that's obviously the correct call. Got to throw the ball out of bounds here. Johnson goes to the edge, but it's well out of bounds, so that'll only leave four seconds. A seat on the long field goal, Caden Davis. We're going to launch this thing. And Johnson was hurried, and then had no chance. That was essentially an offsides call, so I'm going to start at the 30. Johnson hit as he throws and it's incomplete but a flag is down at the 40 yard line it was the intended target holding defense number three 10 yard penalty for playing his spot includes an automatic first down that's Dwight McLaughlin starting quarterback they did a lot of good things they outplayed AM for a vast majority of it just need to get back to continuing to execute and quick make mistakes Max Johnson Good initial burst to charge ahead for a gain of about eight yards there. Jack in, knowing that the score could be very, very different. Second and two. A chain is going to move the chains and cross midfield. Bumper pool with yet another tackle. Second half. Pressure off the edge. A chain picks it up. And with that, able to get the completion to Green and Green breaks free. Donovan Green. As AM on this opening drive of the second half down to the 22 yard line already. Good job by a chain coming across the formation and picking up Slushers coming off the left hand side. Was unblocked, but Slusher gets picked up by the running back, which allows Max Johnson to step up calmly and find Green crossing the formation. Just a great job there in protection by the Aggies. 26 yards from Green. A chain testing that right side. And leg drive keeps going as he works his way to the 17 yard line. Down throughout the course of the first half. Of course, they've lost Jaden Catalan, the All American safety, earlier this year. Second and five. Johnson running out of options and going up high inside the 10 yard line was Evan Stewart. So that is a first down for AM. It'll be first and goal. It's just really late getting to it as Johnson throws a heater and Stewart goes up, makes a catch. It's a shooting class in the 2022 cycle. Keep it on the ground here. A chain into the end zone. Aggies take the lead. Their first lead of the game. Devon A-Chain, a nine-yard touchdown, and a very well-managed, good-looking opening drive of this second half for Texas A&M. And a clean operation this time for the extra point. Here, this one has turned into a lot. One 20 unanswered points by A&M. 
Let's go back to the touchdown here for Texas A&M on the opening drive of the second half. Just beautifully done up front along the offensive line. Just an excellent job, too, by the center, Bryce Foster, and the right guard, Leighton Robinson. Just a thing of beauty. But A-Chain's the one that makes this one go. You see all this flow over the top. A-Chain sees that immediately, hits the cutback, and boom, finds his way into the end zone. Just an excellent run there by A-Chain. And a beautiful drive for the Aggies to open up the second half. Rocket Sanders tackled right at the line of scrimmage by Brian George. Katie has been the workhorse. Second and ten. Tackled for a loss. That entire front right in his face. And it was Chappelle who was wrapping him up. Chappelle of Core Cadets and all the Aggie fans roaring for a stop. Jefferson extending the play goes underneath Hazelwood is tackled three yards shy of the line to gain by Richardson Anaya Smith back at the 27 this is a knuckler from Fletcher and checks back up to the 39 yard line want to remind you SEC as good a tight end as anywhere as there is give him the ball in space let him hand it off between the tackles God probably did a great running back today. <laughs> Johnson Incomplete and Muhammad was wide open. Muhammad had a weight on it, and there wasn't a man in coverage within five yards. Man, the throw really isn't that bad, but watch Muhammad. He kind of stops. He does, kind of misplays it, doesn't really know, kind of comes up, and then next thing you know, the throw's on him. Hudson Clark is way off the mark in coverage, but you can see Max Johnson saying, just keep running, keep running. This one's on the receiver. It's actually a well-thrown football from a distance. You'd think, man, I can't believe Johnson missed him. But as you see Muhammad kind of gather his feet and not really run through the football, his indecision in tracking the football is ultimately what led to the incompletion. What a huge miss. A chain on second and 10, wrapped up after a gain of two and a half. Here comes Sanders straight in on Johnson, trying to keep his balance, and somehow does Max Johnson. My, oh my, what a play. Flag is down at the 40-yard line. Johnson went from could have been, should have been sacked to dodging and darting ahead for a big play. And there is his father, Brad Johnson, the Super Bowl champion. Dad had a good arm, didn't have those kind of wheels. Block in the back, offense number seven. Ten yard penalty for the front of the foul. Makes third down. Here's Muhammad again. Man, this is an amazing play by Max Johnson. Feels the upfield pressure, kind of spins into it, then spins out of it, and then makes a guy miss, cuts back around to the left. He continues to get upfield. You can see the penalty right there. As it was pretty bad there from Muhammad. Pretty clear that he's put it, pushing Hudson Clark right there in the back. Field, and it is a first down for the Aggies. Johnson going to keep it himself, and he will dive ahead to the 46-yard line. It can certainly keep you honest with his legs. Second and six. Von A. Chain. He is wrapped up. Helmet comes off as he is pushed back by Otavius Brini again. Against soft coverage. That would pick it up right there, something underneath. Third and four. Here comes the pressure. They pick it up to the outside, cutting back and getting it is Brown. First down, Aggies, Yul Keith Brown. Yard reception. And that was really nice. It kind of built into a bit of a bunch formation. And then they get Brown out into the flat where he's there by Brown. A chain. Speeds to the outside. Flag is down at the 30. Robinson, I think, for a hold. Holding offense number 64. 10 yard penalty for the previous spot. To be first down. Most veteran of their offensive linemen. Yeah, and he's had a nice game so far, but this time he 
tries to kind of get around the edge, but he hooks the defender. Watch right there as he engages with Zach Williams. That right arm gets hooked up around the neck. First and 20 after the penalty. And sack ball came loose at the end there. But Landon Jackson, the transfer from LSU with the sack. Reveille alone. Bro, she wears five diamonds on her maroon and white blanket. <laughs> second and 30 underneath. This is Smith. And here he goes. On second and 30, they convert with Anaya Smith. I understand being conservative defensively, but I can promise you this. I'm not going to allow Anaya Smith to have 15 yards of wide open green grass in every direction if I can help it. I mean, you can see just second and 30 because of his athleticism. A chain. That's back to the 12 yard line. Eight. Johnson to the end zone. Incomplete. And he's looking for the Verder with Smith. Now this third and eight, and we got motion. There was tons of movement for Jimbo's team, and this has been frustrating him all night. The self-inflicted wounds. Full start, offense number 76. Five-yard penalty. Remains third down. I'm going to hand it off on third and 13, and that just goes for three yards. The A chain. Good ball contact, good rotation, and through. And AM, 23 unanswered points, up by nine late at the beginning of the night. Chance to get their status back, their standing back after the upset loss to App State. Spin really makes me very, very proud. I love hearing that. Rocket Sanders, tackled by Cooper. Second and three, and that's exactly what they do. I think that's a good message, too, Katie, because if you look at some Aggies off the line of scrimmage. Jefferson on first down. Incomplete. And Greg, remember when Sam Pittman turned to Katie and he brought up a great play. Give them credit. Man, you got to have someone that's going to take the bull by the horns. Sanders on second and ten as he is torn back by Chris Russell. Chris Russell's had a heck of a game. Top of this. Stack set. Third down and nine. Jefferson. Incomplete. He was looking for Thompson. There for the Hogs offense. Sixth punt of the night for Fletcher. And he skies this. Going for big drive. Big hang time. Inside the 10. Well done. Bounces back towards the 13-yard line. What do you say? Max Johnson. A chain and Smith back out there. A chain, look at that shake and bake for a first down. It's relays this past year. I mean, jaw dropping. Sixth fastest time in the 200 in AM history. Johnson downfield. Incomplete. Looking for Marshall. He was covered by Hudson Clark, who we focused in on moments ago. Always evaluate things. But he feels like this offense has been close to breaking out. They run option, and Johnson does so well to the 35-yard line. It'll be third and short. Bumper pool with the tackle. And that is Anaya Smith down on the turf. And that is the last thing that Aggies third down and two. It's exactly what they do, Greg. And he is met right at that line to gain. Set to return, heels on the 20 yard line, and there was movement Ball as Constantino. Start, offense number 29, five yard penalty. It remains fourth down. Set for his. You're watching the SEC on ESPN. And this is Stevens on the punt return, and Arkansas will begin this fourth quarter with the ball, trailing by not offensive line that they feel they can lean on. Can they do it now? AJ Green. As he gets to the 33-yard line, tackled by Russell. And put their advantage at all in the second half. Here they snap with 28 on the play clock. Green again, and that'll move the chains.
You can expect much of the same. Just run the exact same. Green again. For the Aggies. Stood up to it, did Green, and made the most of it with two and a half yards. Third and three. Jefferson gets it out. Quick out is secured by Trey Knox. Guy who added 30 pounds to his frame. Went from a wide receiver. Razorbacks. Hazelwood orbit motion. This could be a pass. double pass. Or it could be a disaster, and it's a sack. Hazelwood tackled for a loss by Shamar Stewart. Antonio Johnson in on the play. Stewart. But right now it's the Aggies in the fourth quarter with a nine-point lead. This has been a thriller. Second and 15. Jefferson bottled up but gets a little bit of a push towards the 46-yard line. If you're Arkansas, I might try to work that on a slant with Hazelwood. Third and 10. Jefferson. Gets it complete, but tackled maybe a half yard short is Hazelwood. It's in a 242 pound quarterback. Fourth down and less than one. KJ easily. Here's Dominion on first down for the Razorbacks. And he maintains his footing and then gives a little at the end to the 17-yard line. Rashad DeBinion pushing Jalen Jones away. It's an excellent run there by DeBinion, just refusing to go down even as Aggies were pulling from every direction. And now Jefferson on the quarterback run. And he's inside the 10. And this is their brand of football, their style of football. This looks a little bit more like we saw from the Arkansas offense in the first couple series of the game. Expect much of the same with the ground and pound attack starting to feel its pain. The Binion. And this will be a first and goal Razorbacks. And m defense likely looking for the run. Jefferson keeps. Jefferson strides right in. Arkansas's first point scored, Greg, since the first quarter. Better throughout the course of that drive. Of course, Sunday Higgs, his son plays on the golf team in Fayetteville. Max Johnson, that was blown up. Never had a chance. They had assignment football, and then they had Eric Gregory just slice it in there. Low snap. Johnson able to pick it up. And then get rid of it. And on the other end to A chain, and they're saying it's a catch. Officials meeting, one said catch. And can you believe that? No, you can't. They get together and say he was out. So long. I don't hate the idea of getting A chain out on a little wide route here and see if he can't throw it to him. Third down and 12, pressure, Johnson gets rid of it. And able to get it to Green. Donovan Green saves the day for the Aggies. First down, Texas A&M. 16 yards. Wow. I mean, what a great catch. Does he secure it? Looks like he does. Nothing there to indicate that it was an incompletion, but just a prayer there by Max Johnson as he was getting hit by two Arkansas defenders as he released the football. What a big play by Johnson. Remember, he had pressure right in his face on a touchdown in the first half as well. Does it there. A-chain gets around the edge, hits the speed. He's different. Few guys can do that. Remember, without Anaya Smith, their best playmaker on the outside. Max Johnson with time, but well covered downfield and then taken down by Gregory. Eric Gregory. Johnson gonna tuck and run. And bumper pool 
able to corral him at the 36 yard line. See that green line very, very close to it. Maybe you see a blitz from Arkansas's defense. Here it comes. They do. Johnson stands up to it, incomplete. So Barry Odom, the defensive coordinator for Arkansas. Pump. It is no good. Wide left. Six and a half minutes to play. Johnson with the carry. Makes his way to the 39 yard line in state. But if he can grab a big win against Miami, a big win here against Arkansas, things change. And look at this defense. That was Shamar Turner, the first to get to KJ Jefferson, and now a third down awaits, Greg. Legs to extend drives. Can't allow it here on third and long as well. Three man rush. Jefferson trying to extend the play. Gets it complete for a first down as he goes to Matt Landers, the six foot five transfer. Jefferson took a hit, but did he deliver? Cooper came in on him. And a nice shot, too, by the offensive line. Just a four man rush here by AM. Jefferson buys time, buys time, and then finds Landers open up over the middle on the scramble drill. And now Rocket Sanders. Ten yard gain. We let Jefferson earned it, too, because as he delivered this football, mm. it's a good, clean hit there by Edrin Cooper. Right to the midsection of the quarterback. First down. Jefferson. Going to tuck and run. And that is what he can do so well. Another 10-yard chunk for the Hogs. He will handle Bryles. Outstanding play caller for Arkansas. He sticks with Sanders, and Sanders will get it down to the 16-yard line. Antonio Johnson with the tackle for the Arkansas made an adjustment. Is a and making an adjustment bring it off the right? Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, and it's a bad snap. Ball is loose. A fight for it, and Arkansas has it. You saw that edge pressure. They came with the cat blitz. The snap wasn't a good one from Stromberg. Sanders recovers it as Jefferson was struggling to control it. What a hold your breath moment for the Hawks. Yeah, just stop a little bit. Looked like it was a little to the right. Didn't seem like anything that Jefferson couldn't corral here. See if they can't squeak one to one of their talented wide receivers. Well, they go from the stack release to Hazelwood in the slot with motion. Third and 14. Jefferson's going to run it himself, and he has tripped up from behind that time by Edrin Cooper. Steins the snapper, rebowers the holder, and here is Cam Little to take the lead for the Hogs. It hit the top and rains down into the end zone. When you thought you have seen absolutely everything, this could be what decides the game. Never crossed, never went in, and just sputters to the ground. How you like that, Jimbo? We'll finish this thing up with, I'm sure, more drama when we return. Back here where AM is looking to bleed this clock. And Cam Little is going to be thinking about that. Not driven with good rotation and a target line to give them the lead. As A-Chain takes it ahead, and he has a career high. They didn't have a first down until that point. And now Max Johnson takes a knee. And that will do it. It has been a wild rivalry through the years here at AT&T with all the overtime games. But this one matched it for drama and wackiness. And you just have to feel for that young man, Cam Little, whose field goal attempt that would have given Arkansas the lead bounces off the top of the upright and back down into the end zone. Outstanding performance from A-Chain with 155 yards on the ground, a career high.
gutsy performance by the AM defense. And Katie is standing by with a winning coach, Jimbo Fisher. Well, Tess, Jimbo said, we like to make it interesting, and the guys in the booth called this a gutsy performance. What did you think of your team's ability to outlast? We gutsy. We play hard. We just can't have the self-inflicted wounds. We had a chance to put things away. we got to learn to keep some poison execution. But listen, the fight, the heart, the guts of these guys, to be able to come out here and do that, and the drives in the second half, the defense made the, the change in play. And offensively, we got to control it and get there. You could have finished at the end. But we're getting better. We just got to get better quicker. You said that you were happy to have two ranked opponents on the schedule after the App State loss. Why? Because I want to find out who we are. I think it gives a chance to really stand up and find your guts. And we've got another one next week in Mississippi State who's a great team. That's a hard place to play. I mean, so we needed those challenges to find out who we are. And that's the best way to do it. Thanks for the time. Congratulations. He mentions at Mississippi State next week. Obviously, that Mike Leach offense with a veteran quarterback, but an offensive line that has had some struggles, and they're going to have a challenge facing D.J. Durkin's Texas A&M defense. But then, remember all offseason, with all the controversy, the comments, and the barbs back and forth between Saban and Jimbo over the recruiting in NIL. Everybody was circling the date with Alabama. That's in two weeks, <laughs> and the way this A&M team is gaining some confidence, maybe that juice is back for that game. Yeah, but well, let's not let's not talk about that one right now, all right? Because I know A&M fans are sitting there thinking, hey, look, you know, we're excited about the Alabama game too, but sure. a &M, you know, Mississippi State got us last year, so right? that's so, right. There's business to be done. I, I, there's a lot of things still in front of them, and a lot still to accomplish. Difficult game next week, like Jimbo referenced, but this was, I mean, A&M season really has been about mistakes. I mean, they have had shortcomings, they have had mistakes, self-inflicted mistakes, errors, fumbles, turnovers, you name it, they've had it. Tonight, they were able to weather those mistakes and still found a way to win and capitalized on the other team's mistakes as well. So I think if they can bottle this up, be a little bit cleaner, they'll be in good shape moving forward as they get into the heart of the SEC schedule. I think you're going to have one of those plays that you'll see over and over and over when Chappelle gave it to Richardson when 82 yards. This was the turning point. 82-yard return by Damani Richardson. Utah and Arizona State are coming your way for Katie George and Greg McElroy and the entire crew. I'm Joe Tessitore saying enjoy the rest of your night and thanks for spending time with us here in Dallas.